To begin, obtain the following items prior to catheter insertion. Solex 7 catheter kit, 500 milliliter bag of normal saline, startup kit, ThermoGuard XP or ThermoGuard HQ console, YSI 400 temperature probe. Using sterile technique, remove the Solex 7 catheter from the kit. Flush each of the distal, medial, and proximal lures with sterile saline. Leave the distal lure uncapped for guide wire passage. Select a venous access site, either the internal jugular vein or subclavian vein, and obtain access per standard percutaneous technique. Maintain venous access using an O32 guide wire. Dilate the vessel to prepare for Solex 7 catheter insertion. Remove the plastic catheter balloon cover and insert the Solex 7 catheter over the guide wire. To avoid direct handling of the balloons, grasp the catheter tip near the skin and advance the catheter over the wire, then continue to advance the catheter over the guide wire while placing your fingers just proximal to the balloon. Once the catheter is placed, remove the guide wire and ensure that proximal port is fully inserted into the vessel by checking for blood return from all three ports. If there is no blood return from the medial and or proximal ports, the catheter must be further inserted into the vessel. Verify the final placement of the catheter via chest x-ray. The distal tip of the catheter should reside in the SVC. Once catheter placement is confirmed, secure the catheter to the patient by suturing the side wings. If needed, the suture tab and clip included in the catheter kit can be used as an additional attachment point to ensure that catheter body is secure. Connect the catheter to the startup kit lures and enable therapy as instructed by the console. Place the console into standby mode. Remove the sutures from the catheter. Disconnect the startup kit lures from the catheter. Apply the 2020 rule for balloon deflation. Attach a 20 milliliter slip tip syringe to the catheter in port. Close off or occlude the catheter out port to create negative pressure. Pull and hold a vacuum for 20 seconds to remove residual saline from the catheter balloons. Open the out port of the catheter and remove the syringe from the in port. Keep both ports open while removing the catheter. Follow your institution's guidelines for wound closure and catheter disposal.